Why aren't politicians held accountable through legal repercussions, including imprisonment, for making campaign promises that they later fail to fulfill after being elected? Candidate Jones, I am committed to lowering your taxes. President Jones, I worked for tax cuts, but the bill did not pass both houses of Congress. Public, you didn't keep your promise. That's why this conversation is so dumb. We elect people who are committed to policies we like but we should have a basic understanding of how politics works. One guy can't wave a magic wand and change everything. There's a legislative process. In the United States, it's protected speech. Creating a new category for actionable political promises would introduce complexities that I don't think anybody wants to deal with. Even if they approve of the goal, the only way to make an educated guess what a politician will do is to look at their background, their biography who they associate with, their voting record, their campaign statements are, at best, aspirational. I wonder this question every day dot 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 dot, probably because I'll try don't get votes. There should be a thing in place, like just get hard fined if they promise and don't deliver. One official promise list on the beginning, one delivery list on the end, one million bucks for every discrepancies between those lists. If more than ten, can't be elected anymore. People are really just out here saying shit without giving any thoughtful consideration to their ideas or opinions. Sit down and give some thought to this and circle back around. If you can't see the problem with this line of thought, and you need to put in some work to form a more nuanced and informed understanding of how democratic governance works. Well, in an ideal political sphere, the voters would see through candidates with empty promises and demand a real plan of action to address issues facing the country and their community. Instead, we settle for Team Blue or Red and call the other side names, then fill out our ballots accordingly. I see the system as a symptom of the electorate. In the United States, it's because it isn't illegal to make campaign promises and not fulfill them and to try to make it so would violate the First Amendment. Lying about your qualifications is one thing that's fraud, but making campaign promises, even ones you know you have no chance in hell of following through on, is protected speech. Sometimes they can't, I don't mean they don't want to, but when they do try and get it passed they can't do to the opposition. For example the Build Back Better plan was promised don't hold that to me, but many Republican didn't like the idea and held it back. And some liked it, but didn't think the 750 billion was right. Assuming you're referencing US politicians because there is no way for one person to deliver on the promises. The system of checks balances requires more than just one enthusiastic person. The best that a politician can do to deliver on promises is make strides. But there is so much outside of their control. Short answer in non-dictatorships, politicians have to work with other politicians to fulfil those promises, which is not always feasible to say the least. That said, any politician who pursues the opposite agenda of what he or she campaigned upon the cinema syndrome deserves to be thrown into a volcano. What that individual is selling is to you to get elected locally. Now they need to sell that to the other party members some with differing political views. Once all of those amendments are completed, they sometimes bury it into another meaningless bill which may or may not pass. It's all a bunch of BS. Or disappointing them. Why can't parents have teachers arrested when their kids don't learn the material? Why can't Redditors be arrested and imprisoned for wasting people's time with stupid questions? Imagine everything you say during a job interview. You state your intentions, but you can't be held accountable for your statements because you don't have all the information. If you tell a demonstrable lie, you can be held responsible for that lie. Kinda like George Saunters. I wondered the same thing as a child when my mother told about campaign promises. Back in 1960. Politicians lie. They always have and they always will. All they care is to push their... or their handlers' agendas. They care little about the people that make up this country. That's just like saying it should be legal to lie probably won't happen ever. But as someone said, a just politician could do everything in their power to move something. But if the Congress is the opposing party, or just opposes it, 
then no progress will occur. Lying sucks but it isn't illegal, only in certain cases, like under Ho for talking to the FBI. Is it not legal? So, while it does show a person's character and honesty, and that should be reflected at the ballot box, we just have to tolerate lying politicians. The closest thing you could kinda apply in some fantastical and absurd scenario that's reaching and tenuous would be civil, not criminal. Plus, stuff comes up that changes the focus as things are dynamic and it's about prioritizing things. Campaign promises are just a wish list of policy hopes. They almost always require congressional work to become reality. Can you imagine a Democrat making a campaign promise that Republicans would be willing to work on? Because people are accepting promises that are outside the scope of their authority. The president doesn't control the budget. The president doesn't hand out money. Congress is in, in charge of passing laws and the budget. Because they make the laws and don't want to be affected by it. The only hope is that by a happy accident good amount of them permanently will no longer be able to politics at all like Iquim. Should also be noted that people who actually track POTUS campaign promises have consistently found that most POTUS actually keep more than 50 of what they say A will do. Stop voting for politicians that make asinine statements. But then, that would require voters to actually be educated on the issues rather than fed sensationalism from the TV. It's amazing how people here are trying so hard to defend politicians if only politicians tries as hard to fulfill their promises the world would have been a better place. Because they aren't dictators. Just because they promise something. They can't deliver unless they get agreement from enough others and don't violate the constitution. You are supposed to hold them accountable at the ballot box. Though it is possible that most of their promises weren't entirely up to them to begin with. Do politicians vote on legislation? If they have something to imprison other politicians set up it is for the purpose of instituting one party control. Shit happens outside their control. Or a popular policy turned out to be awful in implementation it would make no sense to soldier on with it. I've always thought that politicians' pay should be based on what campaign promises they deliver on. If they deliver nothing, they make nothing. Because those same people make the laws, and they aren't going to let a law that would incriminate them get through to being a real thing. Because of this simple rule, who's going to enforce it? Welcome to human history. Edit what kind of nance down votes this. Bolts. The promises are vague at best, and the politicians will need to pass the laws to hold them accountable which will never happen. We'd need to build an entirely new prison system just for the maybe call it the campaign promise correctional facility. Politicians rarely promise. They only promise when they have done something. They pledge. It's not the same as a promise. Freedom of political speech and also not one person and fulfill those promises if no else votes for them in Congress. That would imply the government is competent and capable of not being biased towards members of their own party. Because campaign promises is how they keep us divided. And keeping us divided keeps both parties in control. That whole ice town debacle should have landed to everyone in jail especially the ice clown himself. It's only illegal to lie in a limited set of circumstances. The rest of the time is free game. In many other parts of the world, they are. In America, it's because they are above the law, cause it would gut most governments, so they obviously wouldn't let it become a law. So they think its politics are like used car dealers. If you elect me, I'll make it illegal to lie about campaign promises, I promise. Because it would turn into an actual witch hunt and nobody would want to serve. Because they make the laws that affect them dot 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 and they do not want that. The person you vote in assumes your voice until voted out. That's why.